so back to the story we were talking about, about the little girl. I was told by um, a few people that um, she's not, she's not like fully white. She might be a mix. She might be Native American. She has dark hair, shoulder length. Now, I don't know if you have seen her or you're just hearing her. Um, I haven't seen her, but okay. my sense of it is her mother had Native American, her mom. Okay. And I'm getting the chills, so I know I'm right about that. So the mother was Native American. Okay. And um, that's part of it. She, um, she's also been seeing now, there's a few things that have been happening at work. Um, she, inside the office, I was answering the phones, people were calling, and I had a friend sitting next to me, and I picked up the phone and talked to the uh, member that was calling. And above us are tiles, the ceiling tiles. One was missing. It's like cut in half, and it's missing, so you can see the steel way up and I'm on the phone with a member and uh, my friend is looking at me and I'm talking to the member and then she just starts crying and she's holding her mouth and I get off the phone and she I said uh, what's wrong and she said I just saw her she's peeking through the tile looking down on you smiling and I said oh my god I got the chills um, but she described her as um, short brown shoulder length hair and she had like pajamas, almost like a like a nightgown pajamas sort of thing. And she said, John, she said she's a beautiful, beautiful girl. She said, but she's probably like eight or nine years old. And now she's seen her a couple times there. So I'm wondering, does she follow me to work too? Um, is it a different person, maybe? No, I think it's the same little girl. But I don't think she follows you to work all the time. I think there was a curiosity factor there, and. Um, and what I got was almost like giggling, like, yep. like kind of looking down through the tiles and then being like, you know, just and then looking down through the tiles and then, you know, again, up. yeah, and just trying to figure out what, you know, all right, so what do you do? Yeah. You know, who are you? What do you do? That kind of thing. Um, the other thing that, um, that I think happens is she's got one doll and this doll has yarn hair, okay, and it has like a almost like a Raggedy Ann doll, but not really, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It was a cloth doll, okay, mm -hmm. that she had. And that's like the one prized possession, okay? I feel like she was buried with this um, doll, and um, and for whatever reason, you know, she, she carries it with her, or she has it with her. That's like her one, one possession, so um, I can give you that, okay? And that was made for her by like a grandmom, like her mother's mother, all right? Um, so that I know, but I don't think she follows you every day. I think that's a one-time experience. Okay, and the other thing is, um, is there, was there a father in her life? Or was it just the mom? Just the mom. Just the mom. Which is why, because you take care of your children that's and you're a single why. parent, okay, she's intrigued by the fact that you're a good dad because she doesn't remember her father. And so this is kind of a um, an attachment to you. Uh, Hence the the daddy. Yeah. Okay, it's the daddy. Okay, um, and so I th I am getting the chills, so I know I'm right about that too. Yeah. Yeah, that makes me sad. I uh, I I love kids. I mean, I think that was one of the first things you got when Kurt had talked to you, is uh, just how I am with my kids. But just uh, confirming that nothing's bad and that she's here for good reasons and yeah well I feel like she had a good mom I mean I don't think that her mom was um, neglectful in any way um, I just got the impression that you know would have liked to have had the father okay and that the father like was passing through or was a drifter or a wanderer okay and she was born to the mom but really never knew the father so that's why so you know um, we can have compassion for another spirit that walks the earth um, but I don't get that there's anything bad or she would ever do anything to your children or anything like that. It's just a uh, curious thing, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Is, uh, is it wrong for me to ask uh, about why she passed so young? My sense of her passing is um, there's some kind of trauma to the head, from what I can understand, but I don't, I don't get why, okay? Um, and it's... Um, it's an accident, so it's not 
It's not like somebody abuses her or murders her or anything like that. Um, mm -hmm. And that's my sense of it. But, um, you know, she was not an unhappy child, okay? Good. That wasn't, it's not like living some, you know, horrible life and then, and then you know, having that happen. So trauma to the head is what I got.